हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डामरेसर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकॉन थैंक यू माय सेल्फ मिस्टर डामरे रोहित सुरेश आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट टीचर इन सुंदरबाई मराठे विद्यालय कराड़ी पुने फोर्टी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स हाउ हैव लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स बीन क्लासिफाइड यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी द किंगडम्स मोनेरा प्रोटिस्टा एंड पंगी ऑफ द फाइव किंगडम सिस्टीम क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टीम proposed by robert whitaker in 1959 so according to this system there are five kingdoms major kingdoms that is kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom planti kingdom fungi and kingdom animalia so out of this kingdom monera protista and fungi you have already studied today in the in this video we are going to learn about uh, kingdom planti in this chapter of the 9th standard we will learn about the kingdom planti sub kingdom angiosperms and gymnosperms how the kingdom planti is again classified all that we are learn about in this chapter so let's start with kingdom planti so for the classification the group of autotrophic living organisms they are having eukaryotic cells with cell walls in the group of plants now living organisms of the kingdom planti are main source of food for all other living organisms now which are the basic characteristic features for the classification the presence or absence of organs is the first criteria for classification of plants the presence or absence of separate conducting tissues for the conduction of water and food it is the next consideration for classification also depending upon the absence or presence of flowers fruits and seeds the plants they are classified as cryptogams and phanerogams depending upon the whether seeds are enclosed within a fruit or not panerogams are classified as gymnosperms and angiosperms again angiosperms are classified further into two classes that is dicots and monocots depending upon the number of cotyledons in seed in this video we are going to learn about cryptogams now the cryptogams which means non flowering plants so cryptogams are the under this category all the non flowering plants they are classified into the three different divisions that is division 1 thallophyta division 2 bryophyta division 3 that is pteridophyta so we will learn about one by one about the each division their characteristic features and examples the first division that is division thallophyta now this division thallophyta these plants they do not have true stem and leaves they are autotrophic means they can prepare their own food material as they are having chlorophyll they may be unicellular or multicellular uni means one cellular means cells multi means many so these organisms they are made up of a single cell or many cells they may be found in saline water or fresh water these plants usually have soft and fiber like body for example vulva cara and spirogyra so the image of vulva is there on your screen you can see that so this is division thallophyta example is ulva another examples for the division thallophyta 
is Cara and Spirogyra. You may have seen the Spirogyra in your schools under microscopes. The second division that is Division Bryophyta. The characteristic features for Division Bryophyta are these plants they grow in moist soil but need water for reproduction. Hence, this group of plants is called as the amphibians of the plant kingdom. These plants are thalloid, multicellular and autotrophic. They reproduce by spore formation. Their body is flat, ribbon like, long, without true stem, roots and leaves. Instead, they have stem like or leaf like parts and root like rhizoids. They do not have specific tissues <coughs> for conduction of food and water molecule. Example is Funaria, Mercantia, Anthoceros and Rixia. So uh, image of Funaria is there on your screen. Other examples of the division Bryophyta are Anthoceros, Mercantia and Rixia. Mercantia is there. This is Anthoceros. Division third that is Pteridophyta. Now, plants from this group have uh, well developed roots, stems, and leaves. They have uh, separate tissues for conduction of food and water molecules. They do not bear flowers and fruits. They reproduce by asexually with the help of spore formation and sexually by zygote formation process. So in this division, a reproduction is takes place with the help of both the processes that is asexual and sexual. Examples are nephrolepis which we commonly known as ferns. Marsilia, Teres, Adiantum, Equisitum, and Selaginella. So these are the images of ferns. These are uh, very common garden plants. The first image is of fern and the second image is of Thuja. Thank you for your attention. If you really like my video, then please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give comments and share my videos. Thank you very much.